खामोश भीड़ में यू खड़े गुमशुदा मौजूद हो यहाँ या गुम कहीं किसको पता हाई गाइज वेलकम टू यू की गाइड आज का जो हमारा लेसन है वो है एक बहुत बहुत खास लेसन जिसमें मैं आपको बताऊंगा हाउ यू कैन प्ले द वेरी ब्यूटिफुल सॉन्ग आफ्ताब बाय द लोकल ट्रिक सो आप में से बहुत सारे लोग मुझे रेगुलरली रिक्वेस्ट कर रहे थे दैट आई शुड ब्रिंग अ डिटेल लेसन ऑन दिस सॉन्ग सो दैट्स वाई आई एम हेयर टूडे आई एम वन गिव यू डिटेल्स अबाउट ईच एंड एवरी पार्ट स्पेशली द फिंगर पेकिंग सो आई एम श्योर यू गैज मस्ट बी रियली एक्साइटेड सो Take out your yuk. Tune it in standard tune, and let's start with the lesson. So, guys, this amazing song to play. For you, you need five chords, and those chords are chord F, chord D minor, chord B flat. chord C and chord A7 now if you already know these chords then you can skip to the next part of this lesson else let's first learn how to play these chords so to play chord F you need to place your index finger on first fret second string and your middle finger on second fret fourth string and chord F should sound like this to play chord D minor you need to place your index finger on first fret second string your middle finger on second fret fourth string and your ring finger on second fret third string and chord d minor should sound like this to play chord b flat you need to bar first fret with your index finger like this then you need to place your middle finger on second fret third string and your ring finger on third fret fourth string and chord b flat should sound like this To play chord C, you need to place your ring finger on third fret first string, and chord C should sound like this. To play chord A7, you need to place your index finger on first fret third string, and A7 should sound like this. So, guys, now let's talk about finger picking and strum pattern. And this song starts with a pretty melodious finger picking. Okay, so let's first see how this finger picking would sound. All right. So this finger picking is pretty straightforward. You are actually using four chords here, and uh, at the same time you are picking the strings. Okay. So the four chords what we are playing are chord F, chord D minor, chord B flat, and chord C. Okay. And uh, from your right hand you are actually playing string one. Two and string three. Okay, so you just need to focus on these three strings. So now let me play this very slowly for you, so that you get an idea like how I'm actually playing this finger picking part. So chord F, and you have to place this ring finger on third fret first string like this. So you you start playing it like this. Okay, so three. Two, one, two. All right. Now you change the position. So for next part, you place index finger on first fret second string, and middle finger on second fret third string. Okay. This would help you playing chord D minor. Okay. You don't have to hold the complete position because we are not playing the fourth string. So just hold string two and string three, like this, and you start picking the strings. Okay, the same pattern, three, two, one, two. Now the next chord would be chord B flat. So hold position of chord B flat, and again you start picking the strings. 
okay so for this you either hold complete position or you hold string one and two on first fret like this with your index finger and then you place your middle finger on second fret third string and then you pick the strings and now you play chord C so hold position of chord C and you start picking the strings all right so when you play it together it should sound like this now let's talk about chorus in chorus part you are again playing four chords so chord f d minor b flat c now after that you are again playing chord b flat and chord c and now you have to understand how you are picking the strings so for uh, finger picking you are actually focusing on again the same three strings so string three two one okay the pattern will remain same three two one two and this time you will not use your ring finger anywhere so you just play all these chords uh, in open position chord f d minor b flat c b flat c f d minor b flat c b flat c so the next part of this song is bridge and for bridge part we are actually playing the chords so the strumming pattern is very very easy you are just playing two down strokes so that would be the easiest strum pattern which i can manage for you in this song so it should sound like this okay so down 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 or if you want you can play down down up down down up down down up down down up okay so in this part we will be using chords b flat chord f chord c chord f and then chord b flat chord f chord a7 and then chord d minor so we'll play it like this and you end with chord C. So you're not again playing chord F, you are ending on chord C. So now as we understood everything, let's start playing the song. One, two, three, go. फलसफा है सही 
करिए सो गाइज आई एम श्योर आपको ये लेसन पसंद आया होगा प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब टू मी सो दैट आई कैन ब्रिंग मोर लेसन फॉर यू इन फ्यूचर सो अंटिल नेक्स्ट टाइम डू टेक केयर एंड बाय